Fox 61 is a proud sponsor of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, including the Light the Night event. And joining me now is the Corporate Walk Chair, Dominique Signorel, and our honored hero, Katie Brown. Thanks so much for being with us, both of you. Thanks for having us. Katie, I want to start with you. Tell me a little bit more how you first got involved. You have a really incredible story. You're so brave to be with us and share this story with us. Um, yeah, so I've been involved with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society since my diagnosis at three years old. Um, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, I underwent chemotherapy for about two and a half years after that. Um, since then, we've done the Light the Night Walk. Um, and then my senior year of high school, I did the Student Visionaries campaign. And in my college year, so about last summer, I think, I was an intern for community and patient outreach while doing consistent volunteering for the Light the Night Walk. Um, I did the walk last year as well. Um, it's always been such a big part of my life. Um, and yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. well, it's great to have you here. And Dominic, as a chair of the event, talk about how important it is for the community, for everyone to just come out and support. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's such a fantastic event. We're having a, a great event ceremony in uh, uh, September 29th and, uh, in Hartford, Bushnell Park. And uh, I guess we have a, a QR code for uh, having uh, um, individuals uh, participate and to volunteer register, right. to register to, to the Bushnell Park. But it's, it's such a fantastic and very moving event where uh, we have uh, music, we have activities for the kids. And ob obviously, you know, what you want to experience is all these lanterns that uh, you see, I mean, as far the eye can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, you know, red lanterns, uh, gold lanterns, and white lanterns. And, you know, the red being for uh, supporting uh, the community. Uh, the gold is obviously to um, remember uh, some, somebody that we have lost. Mm -hmm. And the white ones in honor of, you know, survivors, uh, obviously. So. Uh, absolutely a fantastic event uh, yeah. for, uh, for us. As you said, it's a very powerful event because when people think of cancer, they think of very dark times, but this is just an incredible view. Absolutely. Just an incredible thing to see, to see the lights illuminating the sky. Absolutely. I have to imagine it was really powerful for you when you were younger. Yeah, so when I was younger, and I didn't even know much about the mission of LLS just being like three, four, five years old, um, but you just see all these lights lighting up the sky and it's just such an amazing event and it just inspired me from being so young mm -hmm. so now when i go and i'm older i just look around and you see all the lanterns in the sky the gold the red the yellow and you just look around and you just get this feeling of hope and right. community and you're like this is the community that will bring change to the world we're bringing light to the darkness of cancer mm -hmm. we're all coming together we're uniting and it's just such an amazing feeling that you have to be there to experience. And from then on, I just, my passion for this organization has just increased and I've just love participating in all of these events, volunteering, being a part of the change. And so that's just why I love this event so much. And you just, you have to be there to experience it. It's a once in a lifetime. And it's that hope that you were talking yeah. about that is so critical for folks getting treatment and as we seek mm -hmm. more research for a cure. Yeah, it's just amazing. And, uh, and talk about all the businesses that are partnering for the event. Abs really absolutely. really given so much support over the years. Yeah, so we, we have a few sponsors already and uh, in the community was uh, BBE, was Cigna, uh, mm -hmm. was Enterprise, uh, JP uh, Morgan Chase, and they're helping us, you know, fundraise for, for, mm -hmm. for, the, for this event. We have a $325,000 goal for this year, uh, pretty significant for, for, for the area, and uh, we're excited to, to get there. Next week, we have a uh, actually kickoff of the fundraising activities at uh, American Flatbread in Kenton. So I invite everyone oh, to come over and uh, get pizza and uh, American Flatbread will be helping us as well there. And obviously, you know, big thank you for Fox 61 to help us, you know, share the message, share this passion about uh, lighting the night. Absolutely, and just a quick reminder for everybody at home, it's September 29th, mark your calendars. If you can't register beforehand, it just looks like such an incredible experience. Absolutely. Dominic, yeah, really Katie, is. thank you so much for being with us and thank yeah. you for sharing your story. Yeah. Thank you for having us.